to get a chance to really go over that uh, with you know from the video. So, but I would uh, you know if your sauce isn't thickening up, you can add add uh, a little bit of corn syrup. So and all you know. As always, hanging hanging with heavy is brought to you by Boatloans.com. For all your boat financing, marine financing needs, go to Boatloans.com. Whether you're buying a new boat or refinancing the boat you have, please check out Boatloans.com. Thank you, and as always, have a great day. All right, gang, welcome back. Hanging with Heavy, brought to you by Boatloans.com. For all your marine financing needs, visit Boatloans.com. If you're buying a new boat or refinancing the boat you have, go to Boatloans.com. All right, today, simple, 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 simple. We're going to be simple, stupid today. Um, one of the easiest rigs that you can ever tie as a fluke fisherman. Super simple. One of my most popular rigs I sold at my store. Uh, just a really easy rig, but we sold plenty of them. It's uh, just a single, single rig, an English style hook, a red bead, and fluorocarbon, and that's it. It was. It's just one. This is one of the most simple but effective rigs that you'll ever you'll ever have, especially in the back bay, shallow water fluking, lightweight. You know, just really simple rig to tie, but really really effective. Um, you put a you know a little you know guys would put a fish it with spearing with a minnow with, with squid and minnow with you know we always use a lot of strip bait back back there a lot of herring uh, fit you know to fish for them, but. This was a really effective light tackle, shallow water, so the water you know can be real clean or you know it's just with the additive added of the fluorocarbon. This is just as basic as it comes. No extra flash. One single red bead on a on a hook with a leader, and uh, you know this rig you could tie up a dozen of them in 10-15 minutes probably, and uh, be be done with it. But it's a really effective rig. And it's really simple. So right now, what we got? We got our English style hook right there. We're gonna cut off a section of leader. You know, some guys make them long, some guys make them short. Um, you know, we're gonna go. I don't know. Probably when all said and done, it'll be 16, 18 inches or whatever. So we got our fluorocarbon, 30 pound test. So we're gonna make. Make our loop, come up through the eye, come around, make our circle. And sometimes it's hard to see when I got a smaller hooks. So you make your loop, make your big loop through the, through the uh, hook first, then come all the way back around and make your loop. Now you're going to work towards the back of the hook. We're going to work in this way, towards the bend. Make sure they all line up. Nothing slides over top of anything. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Be nice to be an octopus right now. You always need an extra hand. Put it. Put the. Put this loop because you do not want that to happen where it's twisted. And once you start pulling that up, if that hitches, it'll make a kink in your leader, and your rig's not going to lay flat. So what you do, and there's really nothing you can do uh, when you're taking leaders off of a spool. You know, they don't really sell fluorocarbon in straight hanks like they do some of this other, other hard mono. Um, but this is what you got to do. Hook it in your lips. And slowly work down. And then when you can, when you can hook it on your other fingers so it doesn't loop loop and then you can just slowly start to kink it out and now it's beyond where it'll kink on the back end you want to just start to pull it keep pulling it that's what your back end looks like you want to keep pulling it pulling it pulling it pulling it pulling it until it slowly slides up so it locks everything down slide it back a little bit so you can just really get it a little cinched so they're all lined up if you look at that it's all lined up See them? They're all stacked. Now you'll slide it to the to the eye and pull it tight. And locked in. That, that rig is completely locked down. Not going nowhere. Perfect snell. Trim up your tag. 
Turn it short. All right, the real fancy part. Ready? Drum roll, please. Oh, add a single red bead. Single red bead. That's it. All right, now we're gonna tie our three-way. We'll go with a polymer knot. Make your loop. Come back through. Oh, oh. Come back through. Make your loop with your swivel on the bottom. Rabbit ears sticking up. Looks like a Playboy bunny. Come through. Pull it down. Most important part, make sure the lock stays up top. Moisten it. And then pull one down on both ends. And lock it in. Locked, pulled down, locked tight. It's locked over the top. Take your tag. Trim it up short. Basic tied. <clears throat> Try two dozen of them. Get them tied up. Get a bag of beads. A couple bags of three ways. Tie them up. Kaylee hooks. Whatever size you want to use. I think these are a one. You know, uh, you know, we go one o two o. Twos, ones, and one o's is what we've used. Used on them. Fluorocarbon. Tie them up. One thing you can do to try to straighten them a little bit is you just give it a little squeeze and it'll take some of that loop out. So, basic, simple. Red bead, fluorocarbon, and an English hook. All right. That has been Tips and Tricks Not Tying, Hanging with Heavy, brought to you by BoatLoans.com. For all your marine financing needs, please visit BoatLoans.com. Whether you're thinking about buying a new boat or refinancing the boat you have, please visit BoatLoans.com. And as always, have a great day. Hey guys.